Hi, everybody, and welcome to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big. And again, it does not matter what sport you're betting on. We have everything covered for you. But first, before we start our video on the NFL for this week, please join so you will have access to the Z-Code VIP Club section right here, which has all the tools that you need to help make your picks. So, as we're getting down to the home stretch of the NFL season, the playoff positions are beginning to be... Uh, formed and teams are vying for those spots so we have some interesting matchups for you to uh for this coming weekend so we're going to take a look at them right now first the arizona cardinals and the new england patriots arizona takes a six to six and four record into new england to take on the four and six patriots you see that the cardinals are a 1.72 2.13 favorite the line of two and a half and over under of 48.5. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here the Cardinals are plus 26, and New England is at plus 15. See the Cardinals are average status, and the Patriots are ice cold down. Considering the over under in this game, look at the totals predictor, you can see that the Cardinals are playing in games trending under the line by four points. And you can see New England is playing in games trending under the line by four points as well. So it's a strong indication that, that playing the under is a very good, good play in this game. If you want to take a look at the volatility oscillator to see how stable the two teams have been, how well are they performing according to their favorite and underdog status, you can see that Arizona not very stable. So take that into consideration when you look at the line. And uh, New England a little bit more stable at plus one. Now, since it's the beginning of the week, there's not much here in the way of lines. But if you want to look at this later in the week, you will see if there's any kind of movement in the line. Right now, you can see it has opened at 1.719. This is the, the money line for the Cardinals. So you can take a look at this and see if it fluctuates much over the, the course of the week or not. And that might help you make your picks. But what I'm seeing in this one here is I actually think that New England will probably find a way to pull this one out at home. They're usually, they're usually tough at home. Uh, I just have a feeling that they're going to win this game. The line is very small. It's only 2.5 favored for Arizona. I think that New England will find a way to win this one, coming from behind late in the game. Now I'll take a look at the Carolina Panthers and the Minnesota Vikings. The Panthers enter with a 4-7 and seven record, third in the NFC South, while the Vikings are 4-6 and six and also third, this in the NFC North. Minnesota, you see the odds are 1.46. To 2.784 in favor of Minnesota with the line of four and a half and an over under of 50.5. You see the Panthers right now are dead up status and the Vikings are averaged down. So neither team playing particularly that well lately. Look at the head to head matchup. You see the teams have not played since 2017. The power ranking indicator you can see here that Minnesota is at plus 13 compared to plus five for Carolina. You can sit in the over and under. Take a look at this. As you see, the Panthers are playing in games trending under by two points, and the Vikings are playing in games trending over by four points. So I would either maybe bet the over because of how far Minnesota is playing in games over the line, or I would avoid. Generally, if, if the teams are on opposite sides of the line, I tend to avoid the over and under. How stable are the two teams? If you look at the volatility oscillator, again, you can see that neither team is particularly stable. Minnesota at plus one, Carolina at zero. I think that the Vikings will find a way to win this one. They're going to bounce back from their loss against the Cowboys. I think for them, in this one will win and cover the spread. And then Jacksonville, we're not going to take a look at that one. Miami and New York. Giants and Bengals, lots of games here. Raiders, Falcons, Chargers, Bills. We keep going down the list. Tennessee, Indianapolis. Here we go. New Orleans and Denver. The Saints are on a seven-game winning streak and lead the NFC South. Denver is four and six, and they're third in the AFC West. You can see the Saints are burning hot compared to average for Denver. The big favorite here uh, with a line of 1.41 odd to 2.975. That translates to its point spread of minus 5.5 in favor of New Orleans with an over-under of 44.5.
take a look at the power ranking indicator. You see here, look at New Orleans, way up here at plus 29, and Denver's down at plus 8. Not surprisingly that they are a huge fair in New Orleans, is despite being on the road. If you take a look at the totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under, the Saints are playing in games trending two points over the line. Denver playing in games just barely over the line, but this line's telling me something. 44.5. I know Drew Brees is not in the lineup, but I still think that this game is going to go over. I would bet the over on this one. You're looking at how stable the two teams are, as we always like to do. New Orleans incredibly stable at plus five. And also, Denver stayed, what, plus three. So these teams are consistently performing according to their favorite underdog stash, which leads me more to believe that the Saints will come away and win this game. I believe they will win this one and cover the spread. San Francisco and the Los Angeles Rams, a classic NFC West Division battle. The 49ers won the first meeting between these two teams. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, they won by a 24-16 score as a home underdog. Right now, they're ice cold down compared to average up for the Rams. And you can see the Rams are big favorites in this one, 1.37 odds to 3.175, which translates to a line of 6.5 favorite for the 49, uh, excuse me, for the Rams, with an over under of 46.5. You look at the power ranking indicator, see both teams are on a downward path, but the Rams are still ahead by a plus 16 to plus 11 edge in this category. You're considering the over and under. You see the 49ers playing in games slightly over the line. The Rams playing in games under the line. So I would avoid the over under in this one. See the, how stable the two teams have been performing. And you will see eh, pretty decent stability for the 49ers at plus three. But the Rams, they were in the negative for a while. And then they are back up to plus, uh, they're back up to zero. But still, they're not a very stable team. So take that consideration when considering the, the uh, favorite underdog status. I really don't see much of a chance for the 49ers in this one. It just seems like the Rams are too powerful right now. I like the, Ram the Rams to win this one, and perhaps even by double digits. And the final game we're going to look at for this week is the Kansas City Chiefs and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Chiefs are burning hot. They come in with a record of 9-1. and one. Tampa Bay is at 7-3, and, and they are average up. This is going to be a very good game. The Chiefs are the favorites at 1.69 to 2.184. That translates to a 2.5 point uh, favorite for the Chiefs on the road with an over-under of 51.5. You look at the uh, power ranking indicator, you can see the Chiefs are very stable at the top. They've been at the top nearly all season. They, they dropped down to plus 27. For the one week, but the back up to plus 30. And Tampa Bay's been up and down, and they are now at plus 18. If you look at the totals predictor for the over and under. You can see that Kansas City is playing in games trending under the line. Tampa Bay trending over the line slightly. So this is another one that I would probably avoid as far as the over under is concerned. How stable are the two teams? Again, this shows how well they are performing according to their favorite underdog stats. And you can see clearly that both teams are very stable. Which again, because of that both teams are very stable, it's a very wise play to bet whoever is the favorite. And this one, that is the Chiefs. I believe the Chiefs will continue to win. And they will overtake the Buccaneers. And they will also cover the spread. So there you have it. Again, make sure you check the money line. I'll just take a look at this money line here real quick. You can see... Uh, it opened at 1.752, but now it is 1.69, so that means the Chiefs are even a stronger favorite now than they were before. So take that into consideration. Take a look at this throughout the week before you make your final picks. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck this week. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.